I became a fan of micro camping probably back in 2002 where I decided to uh, tour around the country. All I had at the time was my little pickup truck and a cab over. Decided to make this little stealth camper. Worked out pretty sweet. A few years later I went to Burning Man and uh, made this post-apocalyptic bicycle camper and I outfitted it with everything. But it wasn't a true road vehicle, more meant just for Burning Man. Several years later, I was again playing with Coroplast, this time arc in the panels, and I discovered that um, you could create a very lightweight, strong structure just attaching the panels together with um, zip ties. Several people asked me, why don't you make a bicycle camper out of that thing? So here, uh, last video I did actually was a prototype of a, that, that type of rendition. It's actually pretty small. Um, I was thinking I could spin around in this thing and face both ways. It wasn't too easy to do that. I always wanted to make one with a uh, Airstream nose. I had some campaign signs kicking around, freebies, so I decided, what the hell, let's, let's make this thing.
How you doing everybody? Just trying out my new bicycle camper. It didn't really cost that much, maybe 150 altogether. When you include the zip ties, the duct tape, and the few boards that I had to buy for the frame, and it's the insulation, the bicycle for the wheels. Not much really. Um, I'm real pleased with the way this came out. It's very, uh, everything's right there at your hands. I like it. No frame, very solid. It's amazing how solid this thing is. We're probably close to about 100 pounds with all of my gear too. Which isn't too bad considering we have a home here. We have a semblance of home, right? We've got the counters, the shelves, places for our clothes and drawers for our little goodies. And we got the little stereo system, gotta have that. That's kind of fun. Um, I don't like headphones. Little library here. I have two lights here. They run off of uh, three AAA batteries. If I were to really take off on this thing, I'd install a solar panel and have a battery and maybe hook up the battery to all these lights so I wouldn't have to change out the batteries. Same with the stereo system. So there you have it, my rendition of a nomadic bicycle camper. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I wonder if I could put the boat under there.